Hey guys, today I'm gonna to do the rough in for my tub. I've got my hot and cold water. I've got my tub spout. I'm gonna be putting in this Delta Lakewood from Menards. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your faucet body and figure out what galvanized pipe you need. So figure out where you want your shower head, where you want the spout and where you want this. Uh, now, industry standard for a shower head is 80 inches from the bathroom floor. The tub spout is not supposed to be any closer than four inches to the tub. And then I think for most of these, you have to check your direction book. They want at least an eight inch drop from the faucet body to the tub spout. Um, so that'll tell you what you need in terms of galvanized pipe. Uh, in my case, I like it on the lower side. So I go about six inches here. I don't like to maximize it and go down to the four, but I mean, you can do anywhere between like four and 12. 12 is too high in my opinion. I like to keep it down at about six inches. Um, so what I'll be doing is an eight inch drop and then keeping the spout at about six inches and then going up to the shower head at just a little over 80. I don't like the shower heads too low. Uh, of course, I'm a taller person, but um, so what I do is I start by making my galvanized pipe connections here with a coupling here. Um, I have all the parts I need here. So there'll be a coupling on the top and the bottom, and then we'll take the galvanized pipe up to our shower head, galvanized pipe down to the uh, tub spout. Now, you cannot run PEX for the, for the pipe going up to the shower head or down to the spout. That's, you're not supposed to run PEX to that. Now, for the, for the feed lines, you can do PEX with these adapters, half inch uh, NPT to PEX is just fine. So I'm gonna start by making these galvanized connections and then I just mount this in here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my couplings and my PEX adapters onto the faucet body. So um, find the top and bottom. There's a little marking on the back of it that says up. Uh, and so make sure you get that correct. Put your PEX adapters out the sides and your couplings top and bottom. So I'm gonna start with that to make things easier. I'm gonna take this, uh, this little plaster guard off that they have on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on all our couplings and PEX adapters. bottom we're going to get couplings to accommodate that galvanized pipe and these are half inch
Now I'm gonna get the uh, spout nipple on and the pipe going up to my shower head. So again, just make sure you got this orientation correct. You've got the up and down. So I'm gonna put my smaller eight inch nipple down the bottom for the spout. So with this fully assembled galvanized pipe on it, we're going to hold it up there and try to get uh, marks for where our support 2x4 goes in. So we need to put a 2x4 in for support on to mount this body, faucet body, and then one on the top um, to support the shower head. So, we're gonna hold this up here. The plaster guard that they have on here, this plastic thing, is supposed to be flush with the finished wall. So for this here, we're gonna get a half an inch of cement board and then tile that's gonna end up being right around a quarter inch, three eighth inch, sorry. So we're looking at about a seven eighth inch. So I'm gonna leave this plaster guard out a 7 8 inch and then based on wherever that comes out is where I'm going to put the 2 by the 2 by 4 brace uh, behind this thing and then just take this up to where the spout is between 4 and 6 inches off the tub and that gives us an idea of where that 2 by 4 needs to go up and down Next, we're gonna go plumb up from the center of the drain to find where the center of that uh, faucet body should be mounted. And make a little mark there. And just jump up to here. Make sure we're good. Then we're ready to mount this thing centered on that mark that I just made. There's two screw holes uh, right through the back, these little flanges. We're gonna screw right through there into that two by that I put up there. With only the one screw in there, we're gonna plumb this the other way. because it will swivel until you get that second screw in there. So 
So now we're gonna cut a two by four brace for the top of this and make our PEX connections and we'll be all done. Now I would keep this two by that you're putting on there just below this elbow. And then I'm gonna put a pipe clamp on here to keep that in place. So keeping it below the elbow will allow me to put my clamp on there better. So now uh, it's just a matter of plumbing this up and finding out where uh, to put the two by. We're gonna screw it in and then just plumb it up completely and put that clamp on there. All right, so I've got this little clamp for three quarter inch pipe to secure it to this two by on the top. And to do that, I'm just gonna plumb this, put a screw into it. All right, the last thing we gotta do is make our PEX connections. 